everybody here from Locker Lunatics. We're not getting a locker today. We're on the quest for a toy collection. Got a buddy of mine that's in the same toy group, toy group as us that's uh, selling up all, all of his toys. So uh, we're not going to film at his house, but if we do make the deal, we will show you everything we got when we get back home. So wish us luck. We'll see you real soon. All right, guys, we are back at the house. Uh, I'm going to try and do this kind of maybe in some weird sections to show you all the toys that we got because if you look back over in here, that's all toys that need to come out. That's all in boxes. There's anywhere from Lego sets that have been put together. There's crappy Power of the Force in there. There's Black Series, Transformers, stuff that I don't know. But I think most of the vintage is right here on the table. And this is what drew me in, of course. You guys know me and vintage Star Wars. But, all right, here we go. We have a 100% complete at it. We have a complete TIE Fighter. We have a complete Boba Fett Slave One. Yes, I said Slave One. I don't care if it's politically correct. It is called Slave One, not a starship. We have the Rancor Monster, a Vader case, a 100% complete Falcon minus some stickers. It is missing some stickers, but it has the training ball. It has all that stuff in it. We've got a really a decent complete X-Wing here. The canopy is really nice condition, nice and clear. Now let's get to the money shots. All right. This is it, guys. This is the money shot. Hopefully I can get this with it, where there's not a glare. This is the farm boy Luke on the Return of the Jedi Luke Gunner card. This card is all over the board on value. But one did just sell for $2,700. Not in much better condition than this. They've got one in a little bit better condition than this. They want $3,500 for $2,500. I would say this is very easily in this condition. You can tell it does have a lot of dog in and a lot of wrinkling and stuff like that. Bubbles a little yellow, but it's attached and it's in good shape. Minimum thousand dollars right here. If we wait for the market to rebound a little bit, it could be a fifteen hundred to eighteen hundred dollar piece. Um, and oh, did I, did I mention we paid twenty four hundred dollars for everything? Uh, a buddy of ours in the toy group was selling some of his collection off and uh, we negotiated right to, to about that price and I think we are in the profits just on the table here so the rest of that is all kind of a bonus but anyway back to the figures ATST driver not that great they sell for about 70 bucks you got prune face once again not that great that's a 50 60 dollar figure now what did surprise me is this red snaggle tooth now once again his cards not that great but does anybody can you see that gun in there does anybody see something strange about the gun that he has? It's not the Han Solo style. It's a Bespin gun. Why? Because this guy, I don't know if you can focus in on that, was made in Spain. So this is actually a pretty rare variant. People are asking up to 500 bucks for the regular snag Return of the Jedi. He sells for $250, $300 normally. But this one being the made in Spain with the variant gun, there's not any examples out there. I don't know. Hey, if you guys know more than me, put in the comments. Let me know. And I'm sure you probably do know more than me. So <laughs> that, that should be easy. All right, let's get over here. This is all complete. All these figures are 100% complete. And we do have Blue Snag. So now his boots aren't in the greatest condition. So he's probably about a 300, maybe 350. If he was mint, he could go as high as 6, 650. On average, they sell for about $400, it seems like. Um, now, Luke and Vader both are missing their tips. Obi-Wan has his, but they're complete as can be, I guess. Everything else is complete. We have both variants of the uh, Lando Calrissian. We got the uh, smiling Lando and the non-smiling Lando. And here was something that excited me, guys. It's not a red bar, but just look how clean this guy is. I mean, you know, these are, these are from the 80s. These are early 80s. Some of them are 70s, but look at this one. This is the... Uh, what was it the telescoping not telescoping what they call it uh anyway the one with the little antenna on top why well, i can't remember that right now i don't know i should know but i mean even the regular r2 from you know 77 his stickers are a little faded but he still is nice and clean his head is clean he still clicks we got the vintage stickers from burger king we've got the non-complete and i really wish leo was complete because as all you guys know her her gun is the expensive one looks like a pistol with a silencer but that's the expensive one and some miscellaneous uh, little parts here from the uh, Millennium Falcon for another Millennium Falcon and uh, what I'm gonna do right now 
is I'm going to try to move some of this stuff here out of the way and then we'll, we'll come back and we will dig through some of these boxes I'm gonna try and get some of the Lego sets out so you can see those and excuse me and then we'll go through boxes that I don't know I just popped the tops off and looked in them and put the tops back on it looked like a lot of like Power of the Force and uh, Black Series and stuff like that but who knows maybe there's something cool at the bottom we don't know we are gonna look through that in just one moment I'll be right back with you all right guys we're back sorry I had to pick up my ridiculous cat this is R2. She was being super loving. Wish you could hear her purring. She's a going crazy. She's a going crazy. Mm -hmm. She's a sweetie. All right. All right. Back to what we're supposed to be doing. Toys, toys, toys. All right. We got all these loose Legos. Unfortunately, there's a lot, not a lot of minifigures. Like this has got a droid and a minifigure. Uh, there's a minifigure for the uh, Yoda. Seems like there's a little minifigure for this one. But most of the minifigures are missing, which is kind of bleh. But, you know, they're still Star Wars. They still got a pretty good value. There's probably a couple hundred dollars in Legos here at least then we've got the uh the transformer now this one was displayed uh the jet fire but still you know pre-owned this guy's like 60 70 bucks maybe a little bit more sometimes and we got a giant uh galacticus pop uh he's not very much money i think probably 25 30 bucks now they used to be worth something uh we've got mr incredible hulk here uh this used to be a couple hundred dollar figure but he's down to about about 100 bucks um these things here i don't know most of these normally go from anywhere from 50 bucks to 60 bucks depending on what they are. I know we have some more of these I've seen them in the back in the packaging or in the boxes over there So we'll go through those here in a minute. Uh, we've got the anti-venom once again used to be like an $80 figure now He's down about 40 bucks um, Down here on the end we have a Deadpool uh, He used to be a hundred dollar figure. He's running about 50 60 bucks now We've got a Thor Once again used about a 70 80 dollar figure you're talking 40 50 bucks now and then a wolverine once again about 40 50 bucks so not a whole lot but you gotta remember though guys we're in the profit the, the vintage star wars paid for the lot as we're going everything you see will be profit 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 but we're gonna take a quick pause i've got to clean this bar up we've got to do a little bit of homework for alexis and then we'll get back to what we were doing be right back all right guys we're back got that mess cleaned up got some homework done we're gonna just, uh, bring a couple boxes over here to the bar and we'll go through them now i had a couple sneak peeks of these because we the guy was putting stuff in boxes when i was there so i seen a few things like this is pretty cool i know i think these sell anywhere from like 30 to 50 bucks all right so we got that oh well, there you go it's about a five ten dollar figure nothing fancy a little futurama little ornament thing probably five bucks and let's see we got Big Trouble, Little China, and Willow. Those are reactions. Five to ten dollars. I don't normally find those that are very much more expensive. Willow, maybe a little bit more. I don't know. Maybe do a comp on that and look it up. Let's see, we got uh, oh, Han Solo and Carbonite. I think that's probably about a thirty dollar figure. Probably about a twenty thirty dollar Black Series figure. Um, okay, okay, we get into Clone Wars. Some of these can be big money. I mean, I'm gonna say probably twenty five bucks. Could be fifty. I don't know. Sometimes the Clone War guys are pretty high. Uh, little Mace Windu, probably a $20 figure, 15, 20 bucks. He's not that much. Okay, we got another Clone Wars once again. These can range anywhere from 20 bucks to 50 bucks, just depending on which ones they are. We'll try and do some comps here and there for you guys. And here we go. We got an uh, uh, ARC Trooper. Once again, that's kind of Clone Wars, so that's going to be another. Could be a super expensive figure. Could be a $20 figure. Could be a $100 figure. We'll have to look them up. We got a. I thought Star Wars are a black X docking station hard drive docking station okay I have no clue that might not have supposed to have been in the box I don't know all right here we go we got like the black series type big uh, R2 this is probably a $25 figure I would assume he used to be a little bit more but not not now well look at the dust on this stuff guys can you see that Woohoo! all right Ooh, that's a good piece okay transformers uh, turbo tank I bet you this is this is probably at least a fifty dollar bill. That's probably at least fifty bucks. Let's see, we've got the Darth Maul ship. This is probably thirty dollar, probably thirty bucks, I'd say. And the Sesse Ten. I don't even know what that one's called. I would have called that a Jedi Starfighter. I didn't know the actual name, of it. but once again, probably 25, 30 bucks on that. And then we've got a uh, just a big plastic. Looks like it makes noise. Yeah, it looks like you put batteries in it and it would have made noise. Probably, uh, probably 10 bucks. 
something like that. We got a couple of loose pop figures in here. I know we get a couple two three bucks a piece for loose pops. Star Wars pops. And we've got a little uh, droid there. So droids droids probably ten dollars. So that's probably better than that. All right, let's grab this other cardboard box over here. I know there's a lot of black series in here. Some of those can be money. A lot of them used to be money. Let's see what we got. We've got yeah, Black Series Jedi Knight Raven. I don't know, probably 15 bucks, 20 maybe. 10, 15, somewhere in there. We got a Darth Maul. Now Darth Maul, I don't know. That's what he looks like. I'd say he's probably a 40, 50 dollar figure. I know he used to go for a lot more. Oh, here we go. This is a good one. This is a good one right here. The Old Republic guys. This is probably a 50, 60 dollar figure. Oh, there you go. Oh, Imperial Pro Droid. We have the Lego of this. Um, this is probably, used to this one was pretty high. Now I'd say probably 25, 30 bucks. Somewhere in that area. Ah, here we go. Little General Grievous. This used to be a, like a hundred dollar figure. I bet now, 30 bucks. Today's market, 30 bucks. Um, all right, that's probably going to be about a 30 dollar figure. Little Luke and, uh, Luke and Yoda there. Let me just on this out of the way. Make me a spot here. Oh, I'm seeing stuff down there I don't really like. Um, probably about a $10, $15 figure. Nothing there. Oh, probably about a $10, $15 figure. Doesn't even show you what she looks like. She's that ugly. It's that bad. Probably a $5 to $10 figure then. Oh, uh, let's see what else we got. What is this one? Ooh, that's cool. An all white Vader. I don't know. I'd say probably 20 30 bucks on him. Have to look him up and see. I don't know. That's a cool one. Looks like a blue Vader. Looks like somebody drew on him with a pen. Looks like somebody colored him with a pen. That's the color he's got to him. Probably a $20 figure. Doing pretty good. There we go. Darth Nimitz. That, now that one, this is probably a $30 figure. He's a little bit more rare. A little harder to find. What else we got down here? Oh, here we go. The little metal Death Star droids. You know, at one time, these were super expensive. Now they're down to like $15. Bucks. But used to, one of these would cost you $50. <sighs> How times change. All right, what do we got? We got some little bitty, some of the little miniatures. Those are probably five bucks a piece. And what do we got here? Oh, we got the Darth Vader Transformer thing. Okay, it turns into the, turns into like the Death Star or something like that. This has got to be, this used to be about 60 bucks. I'd say today's market, 30 bucks. 30 bucks. But, got to remember guys, this is all profit. Now these are things I'm going to take out and then put back. We've got just a whole bunch of, uh, Pops in here. Harley Quinn. What's she doing with the Star Wars Mandalorian? Well, this one's in a little case. That one might be special. It's in a little plastic case. Uh, a Target, Darth Vader. Yeah, we'll have to look that one up. That one we'll have to look up. All right, we've got. Uh, let's go. We've got the Mandalorian. That's the glow in the dark. That one might be worth a few bucks. The glow in the dark ones normally are. So that's kind of cool. We got a couple little like Transformer type spaceships in there star wars those aren't very much we got a, a little uh convention exclusive princess leia gold one good thing about all these a lot of them seem to be exclusives that one's not luke skywalker right as i say that and there is a commander cody now commander cody's normally fetch a couple bucks everybody likes him but that is all that's in this box we've got this pop right here what is this the hydra stomp uh stomper yeah stomper I kept wanting to say Stormtrooper, a little, uh, but it's Marvel, so we got that pop. All right, let me clean up this mess, and we will continue on. Be right back. All right, guys, we're back. Let's try and get through a few more of these totes. We're slowly but surely getting there. I think I got about six totes, big totes, and then a couple little bitty totes left. All right, looks like we got a mixture here of pops. I know that's that's about a $15 or $20 piece right there. Not a whole lot of money. All right, this guy here going to be about... Oh, probably about 15, 20 bucks. No big money there. Ooh, ooh, I like these things. You know, I bought some of these at Disney World. I never put them together. They're little metal. I mean, I wish you could feel how heavy those are. If you've never seen these before, they're metal puzzles. But they build three-dimensional little spaceships. Well, there's an R2. at at X-Wing. Yeah, those are really cool. And I think those are worth about 20 bucks a piece. So you're... One, two, three, four, five, six, at least a hundred bucks there. Call that pile at least a hundred bucks. Cool. All right, that's good. Um, all right, little uh, expanded universe figure, probably ten bucks. 
probably 15 20 bucks a little black series probably about 15 20 bucks what's funny if you go buy them in the store they're like 27 dollars unless you go to ross or somewhere like that all right which way do you want to go we got just pops this is a smuggler's bounty exclusive so all the exclusives at least will probably be worth a little bit and a lot of these seem to be exclusives i mean i'm not going to look all these guys up i might randomly like the glow in the dark ones i do want to look up i'll try to get some comps on some of these guys they're pretty cool those might be keepers i like stuff that glows in the dark yeah. a lot of pops one's in a nice little case a little darth maul that is a what is it a circle collector's exclusive okay what about that one I know that was not going to be worth much. A lot of these are going to be like five to ten dollars. But you got some like this Echo one. This might be a twenty dollar pop. We don't know. Have to. I will look some of these up. This little R2. That's probably a twenty dollar pop. I think I, I think I have had him before. There's another Vader. More pops in here than I would like to have seen. I mean, I knew it was going to be all new stuff. I know there's a lot of power of the force. I can see it through the clear totes. All right. Some of this up. Um, let's do something that's not a pop. Cool piece. Let's see if this, oh, it's in a case. You can't press the button. It has electronics in it, but I bet it. Uh, I'm curious now. Does it still work? Does it? Does it still work? Ooh, that case is brittle. Right. Oh, let's see. Does it? Oh, it doesn't. What's cool about these is they actually put the battery compartment to where you can change the batteries without opening the package. They need to do that on everything, that's a good idea. Any toys with batteries, you know, since people collect them now, they should definitely make it to where you can change the batteries. Another little black series, probably, probably 10, 15 bucks. I could be wrong, I'll look some of these up later. If I was really wrong, I'll let you know. Uh, another little, well, that's a cool one. But unfortunately, I don't think these guys fetch very much money, probably about 15, 20 bucks tops. All right, we got an Ewok on speeder bike. Now, that's probably about a 20 or 30 dollar pop. That's a decent one. They, now, two years ago, it would have been a 50 dollar pop. Hey, we got the, another blue snag. It's a pop, but it's a blue snag. You know, they made blue snag pop. That's pretty cool. All right, what we got here? Ooh, okay, we got little, uh, just little Hot Wheels die cast. Those are probably 10 bucks. Probably 10 bucks. A bunch of in here, though. So. These are probably going to be about 10 bucks a piece, I'd say. Okay. This might be some stuff to take out to Gordyville, because eh, I don't really care too much about this kind of stuff in my shop. And, uh, of course, you know, as soon as I sell it for $10, I'll find out in, in like six months they're worth uh, $50 a piece. That's just how that goes. Welcome to the toy market. What a bunch of those. Speeder bike. All right. What else we got? Another one of those. Quite a few of those in there. All right. What else we got down here? Uh, we've got a Star Wars The Bad Batch Echo. That might be worth a couple bucks. I'd say probably $15.20 on that one at least. And these aren't worth that much. They're there for a while. The cartoon ones were. Now, maybe $10 on a good day. This is a, what is this? Kellogg's Company. Fulfillment. Battle Creek. Michigan. Hmm. Well, do we dare? Okay, it's Power of the Force. Han Solo in the Stormtrooper gear. Boy, wouldn't you like to have pulled out like the old uh, Luke Skywalker in Stormtrooper? It said Kellogg's. So I thought, woohoo. But so that was just a little mail away, serial mail away. Well, I have to look that up. It's still, still be 10, 20 bucks. And then we've got a little, I don't know what the heck that is, a little Star Wars something, Vinyl Nation figure, something like that, one of those little vinyls. All right, that's all that's in that tote. Let's get this tote out of the way. Now this tote says Spawn. So let's change it up a little bit. If it's Spawn, we're going to change things up. Is it Spawn or is it it's Spawn? All right, unfortunately, Spawn has went really, really, really downhill back. I mean, you would be hard pressed to get $10 out of a big cool figure like this now. Used to, 30, 40, 50 dollars. 
I've sold spawns for $200. This one, probably same thing. Probably about a $10 figure. All right, that ain't nothing too great. This one's a little better. This is probably a $15 or $20 spawn figure. He's a little bit more desirable. Let's see what else we got in here. Let's pull a couple of these loose out. Now, he's actually pretty cool. That's like hamburger face spawn. See how his face is all messed up on that side? He's actually pretty cool. Look how he works. He's probably worth $10 to $20 by himself loose. So that's a better, that's better. And then a lot of these guys like this are like $5, $10 loose. Malbuja, he's probably like $10 loose. He used to be like real expensive. This guy here, probably five, ten dollars. That's a really heavy one there. Probably, once again, five bucks for the loose. Another Malboja, probably five dollars. What's he supposed to do? I don't know if he's supposed to do that. I've seen that thing flew off. All right. Like this would have been a good figure packaged loose five maybe ten dollars all right here's some weapons probably just probably to him they do match his colors no probably hey that's a decent one right there his, might have to try, his box isn't that bad that is a decent spawn right there that might be a 30 to 50 dollar guy right there he might be a pretty good one that's what came up Probably a ten dollar spawn. Five dollars on a good day if you find a sucker. These girl ones, just these guys. I bet I have ten or fifteen of her. There were a bunch of variations, and none of them are worth any money. Hey, now this clown packaged used to sell for like eighty bucks. Now packaged, he sells for twenty bucks. So loose, he's probably five. Oh, he's heavy. Now, I just like him. He's cool looking. He's I like. I have, like rhinos so that figure is pretty cool to me but once again five dollar figure and i think this goes to him i do believe uh, some miscellaneous weapons in there and then we've got a ultra action figure spawn um, probably ten dollars all right let's see if we can't uh we got a little bit of room here i'm gonna pull some of these little bitty totes up see if we can't pop those out real quick and then that'll leave us with three more totes all right we got a couple of these little guys Oh, looks like a lot of paperwork. A little Lando mask. Yeah, this has <laughs> some icky stuff here. We got a little uh, blue BB-8. Got a little B2EMO. He's emo. He likes dark music and black lipstick. We got a Chewbacca. That's Star Trek. We got a Star Trek Christmas ornament in there. That ain't gonna be nothing. What we got here? We got some <laughs> a CD. Medieval Times CD, okay. Dinner tournament, hmm, I wonder if that's like, okay, that's kind of weird. Thought so for a second maybe it was like one of those where they film it where you're there, but I don't think so. A little Boy Scout stuff, this is just some little screws. What a miscellaneous box. A little bitty Baby Yoda, but we've got a Star Trek ornament, we've got Millennium Falcon ornament, we've got <laughs> a London double decker bus. All right, that actually might be worth 15, 20 bucks. That might be the best thing in the tote and it's not Star Wars related. All right, that's what's gonna be us. And that's all for that tote. Uh, I got one more tote down here, a small one like this. We'll pull it out real quick and see what's in it. Wish us luck, hope it's better than that one. I, I think I like the tote more than I like what's in the tote on that one, for sure. Now, give me a second. That to the side, pull the other one out. I know we got one more Yoda. micro machines you're talking 10 bucks Did all micro machines yeah these probably 10 bucks a piece these probably eight to ten bucks or two of them in there probably both of them for ten really those didn't used to sell back in the day and then we've got a used r2d2 Naboo place that I think it is. Oh, Jabba's Palace. All right, so that's probably going to be about in the box. They had seven on it. You're probably talking seven to ten dollars now. Okay, so let me clean up my mess here, and I'll get back to you. We got a couple more totes to go through. Uh, the one bought to move the cat, but other than that, we got looks like four totes here. We'll get to that in just one second. 
All right, guys, getting back to it. We're getting down to the wire. Got a couple totes here and a backpack and two totes here. Not too excited about this stuff. I do believe this is going to be a lot of power to the force. Um, yeah, you're talking like, you know, $10 figures at best, $5 figures, probably $5 figures. Lots of fives, maybe lots of five and tens in here. All of these, as you can see down in here, oh, R2 might be a $20 figure, maybe, possibly. This one's the electronic one, so yeah, it is, but I doubt he still works. So, that one might be decent. Um, Boba Fett, $10. These look like all just like $10 figures, $10 figures. You know, fives and tens and fives and tens. She's probably about a $15 figure. Slave Leia, people like Slave Leia. So what else we got down here? Now, all right, this one will be good. I bet he's a $40, $50 figure from Expanded Universe, so that's a good one. Not all crap holding down in here. Probably a $10, $10 one. Uh, what else we got down here? That's probably a $10 droid with the uh, electricity going around it. I'm trying to see if we got anything good in here. Five and $10 power of the forces. Five and $10 power. Whoa, that's different. I've never seen that. <laughs> Check that out. You got Animal and, oh, what was his name? What was the other guy's name? Uh, I don't know. Scooter. It's Scooter with a pig and carbonite. <laughs> That's kind of funny. All right. Let's see. That was from the Disney store. It was 20 bucks. I guarantee you that's, that. I bet this one's went up. This is probably 30, 40 bucks, I would say. We'll, we'll pull a comp up on that. Okay, there we go. Let's get any more of those in there. I've never, I've never seen that before. That's an interesting one, but still, it's all Power of the Force stuff. Power of the Force. Oh, uh, well, this is one of the Shadows of the Empire with uh, comic. So, this one could be money. It's on clearance for seven bucks. But you got IG 88 and Boba Fett um, with the comic. This, we'll have to lift this one up. This could be a $20, $30 figure. So, all right. Well, that one might be pretty decent. I'm just going to move this to the side because that's all it is is Power of the Force in there. Yeah, this one looks like it might be pretty close to the same kind of stuff you can see. I do see some uh, Astrotech droids in there. Those might be a few dollars. Yeah, right, let's see. What do we got here? <sighs> we got a happy old Stormtrooper. He's from San Francisco. All right, we got a Stormtrooper. Pop them. That's probably about a $15 figure. What are these? Mystery boxes. Okay, we got mystery boxes. Mystery, mystery, mystery. Oh, look. Oh, there's a whole, a whole like, display of the mystery boxes okay we'll look those up i don't know what those were worth um stormtrooper luke the newer one that's probably a 20 dollar bill and these are what i'm looking at here these little astrotech droid sets now this guy was 30 dollars originally and you can only you got them at disney world so i would say this is probably a 40 or 50 dollar pack and it looks like we got another one here once again i'm probably saying at least 50 bucks. This one 32. This one was 49.99. So this one's probably gonna hold its value at least 50 bucks. So that's pretty cool. Little micro machine, ten dollars. Bigger micro machine. Ooh, thirty dollars. But I see something under thirty dollar. Please be stuff in this. Oh, guys, we thought we were done. Could there be, oh God, is this new Star Wars? Uh, this is all new stuff. Come here, we got, this is, oh, this is a vintage case. Oh, guys, we thought we were done. Look at, oh, they got weapons. Okay, we got Snacious Crumb. We've got a complete Yoda. Now, if he was brown snake, it'd be worth a lot more money. It is not a brown snake. But that is a complete Yoda. Used to, you could get $100 out of this guy. Now, probably 50 bucks. Still. Okay, we got a Bumblebee Tuna. Can't remember his name. We got all the uh, Claw Twos and people, all the, uh, what are they called? The Bounty Hunters. We've got Squid Face. This is a B-Wing Fighter pilot with weapon. Um, now, Besson Han does not have his stuff. we got an Argnaut. He's got his little suitcase. He's complete. Complete. Claw 2's not complete. Barack is complete. All right. <sighs> yeah. 
Uh, I'm not seeing no high, high dollar guys in here, but they're complete. We got the droid, uh, what is his name? I can't remember his name. The, the droid, complete. Does he have his staff? He, he doesn't have his little staff thing, but that's Anakin. That's uh, last 17. We've got the <laughs> the C-3PO that comes apart that Han Solo or uh, Chewbacca carries on his back. We've got Emperor Palpatine, but the Emperor, but he's got, that is not his cane. So I don't know where they got that little cane. That is not his cane. We've got our, oh man, there's Wicked. I wish we had his, his weapons not in there. We got Chief Chirpas and all those guys. Ugh, bounty hunter that nobody wants, but still he's complete. He's complete. We got a nice Han Solo. How clean that is, guys. He is clean. General Medine, does he have his little staff? He has his staff. Uh, all right. He's got his staff. He's got his little staff. Guys, that's that's a treasure right there. Now, do we get lucky enough for there to be hidden weapons underneath? Sometimes weapons will fall down. We need a Leia blaster. Nope. <laughs> we really need a Leia blaster. Oh, all right. That, yep, there's his weapon. That is a find. I'm saying this is probably a, about a $500 value, and I was not expecting that in a tote of new Star Wars. That gives me hope. You know, when I said maybe there's more vintage, I wasn't really expecting maybe one or two, like, little things. Not a whole case. I don't even, oh, nothing else is important now. We got, we got more of those little mysteries. Probably a $5 figure. And then we got a bunch of these pops. I don't know. I'm not going to look up all the pops. So not right now. Um, micro machines. Ah, a lot of trooper pops. And they're worth a little bit more money. All these like oddball troopers. Tech. See, I don't even know any of these, these people. They must be from a different series. Crosshair. Yeah. Amazon exclusive. Some of these might be some money. I'll try and do a few comps maybe. And then these, I would say these are probably like $10, $15 figures. He might be a $20 figure tech, but for the most part, $10 or $15 figures. Okay, that's all that's there in those totes. We've got these. Let's do the backpack real quick, and then I'll disturb the cat in a second. The, the backpack is a droid, factory droid. Oh, get him out of there. Come on, you can do it. He's stuck in there pretty good. The foam pads that they put in these things down in there really hold them in place. There we go. Oh. Let's see, we've got his remote. We've got an extra chip for him. And we've got a radar dish. I must call yeah, radar dish for the top. Alright, let's see. Does he work? That's the next question. Come back with this. Where's the on-off on this one? Does that do anything? Has he got bad? Oh, that's that's got batteries. Oh, oh, he's got power. All right, this was a personal collection, so we'll see what we got here. Nope, maybe he doesn't have a lot of power. He tried to have some power. Yeah, I think he's about dead. He tried to give us a little love. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think he's got enough. Oh, oh, oh there he goes. Okay, he does have power. All right. Sounds like an evil chip, though. I think he's just really low on juice because he's just not wanting to act up. But all right, that's, you know, I tell you what, the backpack itself still has the tags. They sell for about 50 to 60 bucks on eBay. I do know that. These guys used to sell for hundreds of dollars, but now you can pick them up for 50, 60 bucks all day long. But still for the pair, well over $100. Got the extra chip, the chips and stuff, easy $100 there. Okay, I'm gonna clean this little bit mess up and I'll be right back for the last two toasts. But we gotta move the cat. Be right back. <laughs> All right, guys, we're back. We're down to the final two totes. Let's see how this game ends. Ta -da! All right, we got, looks like a lot more Black Series stuff. Um, I don't know this guy. I can't even see him, really. Okay, slides out. That's kind of cool. Well, once again, I don't think he's much. I think he's probably about a $15, $15 figure. We have lots of cool figures in here, looks like. It's kind of open a little bit. All right, we got Mandalorian. Probably about a $10 figure. 
maybe 15. Luke here this is probably about a $10, maybe $15 figure. Uh, Crimson Guard guy here, he might actually be a couple bucks. I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't bring 15, 20 bucks on that one. A little Battle Droid, probably about a $10, probably about a $10 figure. What we got here? Pretty cool. Uh, another Mandalorian. Once again, probably 15 bucks. Which is really disappointing because there's more than that in the store. But that's what it is. It is what it is. Another uh, Jingo Fett. Once again, probably about a $15 figure. Let's get something good. Uh, these, these guys here aren't much. Doesn't that remind you? You guys remember the movie Donnie Darko? Reminds me of Donnie Darko for some reason. But once again, 15 tops. 15 tops, and here's a pops. All right, another pop, probably about a five dollar pop. Oh, the Raven, I don't know, probably about a five to ten dollar figure. Oh, that's cool packaging. It's a cool Boba Fett, but I bet he was not worth over 15, 20 bucks. That's just how it is. Dark Trooper, once again, probably 15 bucks. Now, this one I've had before, this used to sell for quite a bit, so I bet you this is a 30 to 50 dollar figure. Maybe. Okay, we got that one. A lot of Boba Fett's in here. Another Mandalorian. Alright. Ooh, that's a cool piece. Those die cast. Alright. That's kind of a neat little set of miniatures. It was $50 at the Disney store. And I bet you it's... That's a pretty cool set. I've never seen that one before. I bet you that's a good $40, $50. Come on, that's, that's a good piece. We got a little Hot Wheel uh, Micro Machine. Uh... Die cast, probably five to ten dollars. Yeah, well, I don't know. Okay, this is one of those mail aways. What is it? Okay, Mace Windu, five bucks. Five dollar Mace Windu. Get some Mace in your face. Oh, what is that? It's one of those vinyl Masons. These are like fifteen bucks. I don't know. I don't think these have any value right now. For a while, they were kind of hot. There's another one. Disney Racer. All right, once again, probably it was five ninety five at Disney. I wouldn't, you know, five to ten dollars, maybe. What we got here? So we go. There's a Boba Fett prototype edition, probably eight or ten dollars, five dollar little uh, Shadow Shadow of the Empire, five bucks right now at best. That was pretty cool. Here's an Obi Wan and Darth Vader. That's probably I'd say a forty dollar, probably thirty forty dollar set. Alright, we gotta remember we're all in profit. It's all profit. That's a cool one right there. Black Series uh, Stalker. That's pretty cool. Probably ten bucks I'd say. Ha ha! She was big money for a little while. Cara Dent from the Mandalorian. This figure was going for like a hundred bucks for a short period of time. I think now, though, it's down to like $20. Might want to look that one up and see, but I think that's pretty cheapy-cheapy. we got some weird stuff here. we got a uh, Venom popping down in the middle of all the Star Wars. A Goonies! <laughs> Sloth! Baby Ruth? Ruth? Baby? All right. That's, yeah, I don't know about those. But I would say probably 10 to 20 bucks. Oh, that's a cool one. Is that Darth Vader? It's Darth Vader, but Darth Vader is African American. Where did I don't what is that? Not that there's anything wrong with that, but I don't know. What is that? Never seen that figure. Okay. No telling on value of that. This is a I would say a pop. Yes. Hey, she was bringing some good money there for a while, but uh now probably not. Probably not so much now. Alright, let's keep going. We're almost there. There is another Mandalorian. Once again, probably 15 bucks, maybe, at best. Got some weird stuff down in here. Let's see, we got... That's going to be a 5 or $10 figure. Hey, here's another comic pack. This has got a white Darth Vader. And it looks like a Leia. Return of the Jedi with a comic, so that could be a few bucks. Probably 20 bucks right now, if I had to guess. Why that's in a protected case, I don't know, because that's probably about a $10 figure. Imperial Death Trooper, that's kind of cool. I'd say that's probably 20 bucks. 
I had to guess, I'd say about $20. Um, so all silver, silver and blue R2D2. I don't know, probably 10 bucks. That's a guess. What we got here? We got, oh cool, all the, the Hot Wheels cars collection. That's pretty cool. That's probably 20 bucks, I'd say. All right, that's kind of cool, kind of cool. We got a Luke Skywalker Stormtrooper. Probably 15, 20 bucks. A Darth Vader with a purple see-through head. I think I sold him before for about 15 bucks. And once again, the Cara Dune Black Series, 10 to 15 bucks. Okay, we've got another mystery box here. We got it says Hot Wheels, Star Wars Hot Wheels. How does it open? Well, it does it open? There we go. Oh, is this all Hot Wheels? All right, this is going to be all Star Wars Hot Wheels. I'll pull a couple out, just kind of peek at them. Almost look like the same ones that were in there, only individually. I don't see any of the expensive ones, but you got one, two, three, four, eight Hot Wheels, and that's still in the Hot Wheels case. So probably 20, 30 bucks there. Oh, these are the cheap guys. These are like five dollars a piece. A whole bunch of stuff crammed down here. Well, that's a black series one. That might be a few bucks. I'd say you know, ten, maybe fifteen dollars. That is an accessory accessory pack. That is probably ten dollars. In fact, I sold the set of six of those for a hundred not too long ago. There's a cool looking Boba Fett, but unfortunately, this is only about a twenty dollar figure. All right. Oh, that was cool. That's a cool Cara Dune. I've never seen that one. The Mandalorian. Let's look that one up. That's got to be a. That's got to be at least twenty dollars, probably more. Maybe a little bit more. That's a cool one. I've never seen that one. That's pretty cool. Got a couple of weird things in here. Got a little uh, Chopper C110P. I've never seen him. He was $25, wherever they got him at. We'll have to look him up, see what, how much he is. A couple of them that we'll have to look up. And then we got another vintage, little vintage uh, mini, uh, what are they called, mini rig. Looks like we got some paperwork in here. What is this? Are these, I think these are folders. Limited edition, oh, lithographs. Oh, okay. All right, we got some collectible limited edition lithographs. All right, there's that one. Can I see that? Okay, see that? I have no idea what these lithographs could be worth. Empire Strikes Back. Okay. No clue on these and Star Wars. Pretty cool. All right, those are kind of neat. Those might be something. And then I've got a padded envelope in here. What is in the padded envelope? We have got just a bunch of paperwork. Huh. Oh, those are signed. Is that signed by who? Uh, the Darth Maul guy? That's actually signed. All right, well, what else is in here? Now I'm curious. Try not to rip papers. Come on. Get it out of Anything else in there signed? Card doesn't look signed. That doesn't look signed. We got paperwork. That's a medieval time. What's that? That's signed. So Star Wars right there. I can't tell who signed it. But it's definitely signed. Oh, that was like a skateboard decks and stuff. Huh. Well, that's kind of cool. Let's see. Yeah, I'll have to look into that a little bit better. There's some stuff in there. There's more, but wait, there's more. What do we got here? We got... Oh, is that, that's an autographed Carrie Fisher. Holy cow, guys. Check that out. And a Mark Hamill. Whoa. And those are the real deal. Guys, that's some money. Those are those are gonna be a few bucks. We're gonna to have to try and do some research on those. If that is actually it looks like real live ink, you can see where it's crossed over. If those are real autographs, I know hers is worth quite a bit of money since she's passed away. That that could be some oh that's some looking into right there. Boy, there's some stuff in here I did not expect. That is really cool. All right, well, we got one more little tote. I don't think it's going to be as cool as that. I don't know what we can find to be as cool as that. 
Whoa, that is awesome. I'll definitely do some research on those, trying to get you guys some comps. Because that could be some really cool. Now, what do we got in here? What do we got? We are almost there. We're oh boy. Okay. Bunch of those little vinyl guys. I don't know if those have much value. I know a while back they did. Now, not so much. Um, well, that's B2 Emo. I had another Emo. Didn't we have another one of him somewhere? I think we had a bigger one of him, like a mm -hmm. Black Series. So we'll have to look him up, maybe. All right, guys, sorry about that. We had a little glitch with the camera a second ago. I went ahead and cleared off the bar, and we are down to our very last tote. Now, we did open it up and pull that one little bag of vinyls out, but then we had a little glitch on the camera, so... Let's get back to what we were doing. All right, here we go. A little Star Wars Hot Wheel type thing, probably five or ten bucks. Not that great. We're gonna find anything good in this tote. Let's see. Micro Machine sets. This used to be about 30, 40 bucks. Now, maybe 15 if we're lucky. Okay, we do have some Black Series and stuff like that in here. We got a little Stormtrooper, probably 15, 20 bucks. All right, this is a good one. This is a good one. I don't know exactly. I would say he's probably somewhere between 30 and 50 dollars. Might try to look him up. Uh, Agent Cody's normally pretty good, um, but here lately he's been going for probably $15-ish. This is probably like a $10 one. It's sad that some of these are less than what they were in the stores nowadays. Um, we got a little Yoda, a little strange looking Yoda. I'd probably say 10 bucks on him. We got a, a blue line Yoda. The blue the ones with the lines in the background used to be worth more, but now probably 15 maybe $20 if we're lucky. Okay, here we got another, uh, ooh, dropped something. Micro machine, little place up where all the micro machines have tried to get out. Uh, once again, that's probably in that condition, five bucks maybe ish. Somewhere in there. Let me see what I dropped real quick. Okay, this is, and it was already cracked, I think, yeah. It was a crack attached to a Boba Fett slave one, so that's in there. All right, we've got the, uh, yeah, that's a cheap one right there. That's probably five to ten dollars. There's a decent. I think that's Cody, isn't it? Yeah. That's probably 15, 20 bucks. All in all, guys, we've done really good. And by the way, I looked up those uh, those uh, autographed uh, Princess Leia and Luke Skywalker by that official picks or whatever. Those could be some really big money. So those were a good, good find. That's another uh, five or ten dollars. All right, we got a shipper box. What's in the shipper box? We got a couple things in here. We have got a little Leia. Probably 15 bucks on a good day. And we've got a... Oh no! Poor BB-8! We've got a pride BB-8. What? This is not the droids we're looking for. All right. Keep your pride out of my Disney. All right, here we go. We got a, probably a $5 figure. Probably a $5 figure. I don't know that one. Probably five, ten bucks max. That hadn't been a lot of big hitters in this one, has it, guys? That's our last tote. Five dollars. Um, I don't know about the Han on Carbonite. He could be a little bit more, but let's, I would say ten bucks. Glare's getting it. Okay, can you see that yeah. one? I'd say yeah. probably ten bucks on that little black series. Um, cool little Darth Vader, but once again, probably ten bucks max. And last but not least, a very C-3PO with a battle droid head. Probably five. It's, it's got the little figure. Maybe, maybe ten dollars on that one. And guys, that wraps it up. That is everything we found in this toy haul. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe. We buy cool stuff all the time. Keep your eye on us. See you real soon. Have a great day. Bye bye.